channel started is I had been wanting to start one for a while. I figured, you know, it would be good, a good way to expose myself, get out there, get within the community, connect with like-minded people because, um, you know, I just figured do something different to get around people that are like you and what better way than YouTube because I watch a lot of YouTube videos anyway. And then I met, um, I met, um, who did I meet? So Tony Gaskins mentioned Sophia Melanie on Dead Demolisher TV. I went on Dead Demolisher TV for, and I saw the Vet Your Spending Challenge. From the Vet Your Spending Challenge, I met Lisa Smiles and I met Coach Sheena. I don't know, they stuck out to me. I think their energies and I started following them. And from there, Lisa is a natural hairstylist. So from there, I don't know, like my, my friend's birthday was coming up in North Carolina and my other friend lives in North Carolina and I thought, and it was around my birthday month. This is January, January. My birthday was is January 20th, but this was in my birthday month. This like two months ago. So I just thought to myself, I want to go see my friend, um, my birthday friend. And I want to go see my other friend. I haven't seen her since we were children. And that's a whole nother story. So, um, and then Lisa, Lisa lives in North Carolina. That's where she does hair. And I'm not telling her business because it's all on her page, right? So I said to myself, you know what? Let's make this an excursion. Let's go to North Carolina and just knock them all out at the same time. Let's just do it. Let's just go see everybody. And I was really wanting to do something with my natural hair. Like I've, you know, I've, I've had like fake hair a lot weaves, wigs, uh, extensions, all kinds of stuff. Not to say that I won't ever get anything again, but I really wanted to be comfortable doing my hair. Like I've tried to have it out a couple times before now, and I would just do the puff. I wasn't trying to explore anything. Like now I've been defining my curls. I've been adding a bang. Like it's not drastic, but for me, it means a lot. The things that I have been doing with my hair and actually keeping it out this long, I've never had it out this long. So by now I would have given up and the washing and conditioning and drying it process would be completely overwhelming. But just listening to Lisa and her videos, it helped me. I ordered a, um, some products from her and then I tried to do the, so the, what was it? The defining your curls, I wanted to define my curls. I saw one of her videos about defining your curls. And I asked her about it and she was like, just ch check my page. I'll be posting a video about that soon. She posted a video. It looked really nice. And I'm like, you know what? Let me order the product. It's some coconut milk. Silent foam, I believe it's coconut milk. But I bought the product in my head. I was going to do it and I didn't get around to doing it. But because it was my, my birthday month and I took a week and a half off from work, I'm like, I'm just knocking them all out. I'm going to see if she has any available appointments. And... So the week that I was planning on going, she didn't have any available appointments, but she had appointments for like the week before, a couple days, like Thursday or something. I think it was a Thursday and I was gonna leave to go there the following week. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna switch everything around. So in my brain, I switched it all around so I could make it happen. And she was my first, she was my first person I visited in North Carolina when I went there. I was, I was at work all Wednesday a lot of things at work um I came home and I did some more work because I had some deadlines that I needed to take care of before I went on my vacation and I remember I worked all night and then I didn't have I didn't go to sleep I ended up working until about midnight taking me a shower packing I had no clothes packed nothing packed getting all my stuff together within a couple hours three o'clock in the morning I drove five hours to Lisa Smiles to get my hair done and we had the best time ever we started I don't know because I watched a lot of her videos and a lot of her stories resonate with me in terms of relationships and trauma and things that she's very transparent and open and honest in her videos and it just spoke to me in terms of real like being real like you're not perpetrating anything this is who you are unapologetically imperfect beautiful you and it, it, it just spoke to me so 
anyway i ended up going there and because i had watched a lot of her videos i binge watched them like just let them play in the background and stuff i uh when i got to her i was like i feel like i'm meeting a celebrity i like that's how i felt, I felt like can i get your autograph like i don't know you know what i mean like and she was looking at me like I was crazy, but she laughed a little bit, right? And then we just, I just, we just started talking. We just started talking about, um, we were talking about the hairstyles and the things I wanted to do with my hair. And I was telling her that, you know, I wanted to post videos, but I was shy and I wasn't sure where to start. And, you know, I just, we were just talking about everything, right? And then we started, to, I started, I had a smoothie. So I made a smoothie before I left because I was, on JJ Smith's green smoothie challenge, Bob cleanse challenge by myself. And I was telling her like, I'm at the end of it and I'm not really on the challenge anymore, but I was still drinking smoothies in the mornings, especially cause I had that long ride. And she was telling me how she had done it before. And I don't know, so I'm, in the midst of all that, we decided we were gonna start again together in a couple weeks, like the week after my birthday, we were going to start it together. And from there, um, she challenged me. So she was like, I am going, and you know what happened too? Since I had been on her page, I had been on some of her lives, um, some of her tribe, some of the Smiles tribe, they knew that I was going to visit her. She had announced it. So they were like, I can't wait to see this. So, and I said, you can, if we're gonna do live, we can do live, I said it because I'm like, I said I wanted to be on YouTube. I can't go after we've talked about it on your lives all this time and not actually show my face when I go, right? So she was like, okay, you ready? I'm like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And she's like, well, get ready because we're going live now. And literally, mind you, my hair was straight when I got there. It was down, it was all washed and matted and tight and just, just not what I want people to see me like, right? And I just embraced it because I had no choice because she forced me to, right? And so during the live, we were interacting with the Smiles Tribe. I know Coach Sheena was there. I think Tracy Ann was there. I don't remember everyone else's that was on the live, but they interacted with her and it just, it felt nice. It felt like a, a nice, wholesome community of supportive, positive energy and spirits. It was just, it was a beautiful experience. And then once we were done with my hair and it came out really nice, um, once we were done with my hair, she said to me, I challenge you because I was gonna be in North Carolina for like three days. She was like, I challenge you before you go back home to Maryland, I want you to post your first YouTube video. And I'm I'm up, I'm all up for challenges. All you gotta do is challenge me or dare me and I'm in, well, within reason, within reason, okay? So she challenged me and you know what? I said, okay, I accept the challenge. And before I left my friend's house, I posted my first YouTube video. And if you look back, you'll see it. It wasn't like, I don't remember, like, it was that week, it was like the end of January and it says, welcome to my channel. And that was the first video I posted and I've been posting ever since. So my whole point, I wasn't even supposed to go into that whole story, but my whole point is just do it. Just do it. Whatever you're feeling in your soul is there because God put it there. You have to implement it. Um, we all have free will. We all have the um, the ability to make our own de decisions and our own choices. But something, if something is deep inside of you where you feel like I wanna do something, like I wanna publish, I wanna write a book, I wanna travel the world, I wanna be a food vlogger, I want to make this special device for certain people, just start, just start where you are, just do it. Even if you, you're scared, even if it doesn't make sense, even if you don't know, if you can't see your other foot in front of, one foot in front of the other, just start. And I, and God will lead you, I promise you, because this is exactly what is happening to me. So with that, with that moment where I looked at my professional shot in my Instagram, it just, it just clicked and I'm like, wow, like, okay. So we're doing this. I mean, I don't all the way know what we're doing, but we're doing this. So huh, that was just something I needed to share with you guys tonight. So just do it. Whatever it is, just do it. Time waits for no one. And it's it's in you. It's in you. The reason why you're thinking about it is because God planted it in you. 
but you have to be the one to pull it out. You have to have the faith and you have to have the strength and the gumption to pull it out and bring it out into the world. Like I feel, I feel like, and I know for sure that we all have, we're all here for a purpose. We all have something that we're supposed to do before we, before we leave, right? We're, we're, we all have something that it has been planted in us for us to contribute to society and to the world. And so you just have to do it, just do it. That's, that's my message for tonight. That's the late, late, late night Chrissy chat because I should be sleeping right now. I'm supposed to be waking up at five to go work out. So, but I, I had to get it out. It needed to come out. It was in my heart. It was in my soul. And I just really wanted to share that moment with you guys. So, more to come tomorrow. Have a good night and we'll touch base soon. Thank you.